So my, my thought about costume design for Dune was how you had to imagine those costumes from the book or from the start or just how do you design something that's sci-fi, something we haven't seen before? How do you come up with these colors, the palette, the fabrics to make us think that this is otherworldly? You know, uh, Jacqueline and I, um, uh, Jacqueline, when she asked me to join her on this film, um, we'd worked together many other times and, and not in this capacity, but I, we were both artists and both painters and uh, we both art, love art history. She's an art historian, as am I. And we really kind of looked, well, I'll say number one, Denis had a very clear vision of what he wanted. Okay. But when we looked at the film, we go into the source material, which is the book. I and so the book yeah, tells you everything, yeah, pretty much. I mean, he's not super descriptive about what it is exactly, mm -hmm. but he gives you a very clear frame of what it should be. Mm -hmm. And we really looked thousands of years in the past to create 10,000 years in the future. Oh, that's cool. And we never really considered it science fiction. We always thought that it was like an epic tale. There are no spaceships. There are no electronics. Well, that's true. It's all mechanical. That's I mean, right. so everything you look at, you know, it, I think the opening line in the book says, we have eliminated computers because when the computers started to think more than the humans, we realized how dangerous that was. And I'm not quoting it exactly, but it, you ba basically realize the book is being told from a very mechanical way. Like even the still suits, there's no electronics. Is. It all is from pumping action. Oh. There's no, other than the spice, sorry. No other than the spice, there's no yeah, there's electronics. Nothing. There's no LED, there's no anything like that. and so. It real, that's why we never thought of it as science fiction. It was a very alternate world in a different different future. That's probably why I said sci-fi because it is an yeah. alternate world. I didn't have a better word. No, you know, it, it's, it's funny because you know people say sci-fi, but we really always thought it was an epic tale, or this passion tale. And so then it kind of, as we looked to the past, we saw like the Turig in the in the desert, or the the Templar Knights, or Wow. All these images that, that made sense to to what costumes would be, you know. Ten thousand years from now. Yeah, thousands of years in the past to do ten thousand years in the, the future. In the desert. Yeah. In the heat. Well, it made sense, you know. Like they they are still wearing. I worked in Morocco a few years ago, and still people were still wearing what they wore thousands of years ago. Yeah. You still see the Bedouin tribes still wrapping their heads, oh, that's right. still doing, you know, covering their eyes, covering their face. And for protection, that's and right. so you know, I would say form dictates function, or function dictates form, mm -hmm. and so the function of the costume has to make sense. And once you see what the function is, it needs to work in the desert. You need to work in its geography. Then it makes sense. It starts to dictate. Oh yes, the you know, head wraps, the, the body wraps. Mm -hmm. You know, even a head wrap becomes a tool, really. Mm -hmm. Like if you see a turban or a head wrap, it's a tool. It's a rope. Take it off. It's a rope. It's a it's tent, tent, it's yeah. a face, yeah. it's a wrap yeah. to keep you warm, yeah, and, and so that's that's kind of how we work. I think I'm going to go out and get some turbans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we call it head wraps. We didn't head say turbans. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's spectacular. Oh, thank it you. Truly thank is. you. I hope I answered your questions. So much fun. Yeah, entirely. <laughs> it was my yeah, pleasure. Lovely chatting with you. Oh, my pleasure. Take, Take care. care. You too.